So hi, uh, I've pulled a couple of photographs out of my stash that I've kept over the years. Uh, time to let them go, I guess. I'm, you know, you get to be a certain age, you got to kind of start getting rid of stuff. But anyway, uh, this first picture I'm going to talk about is of West Topsom Hill which, you know, you wouldn't even know it if you hadn't grown up around here, but that's it's a pretty good picture. I think it's from around 1960, and I'll show you why I think that. I'm going to hold it up for a second. Oh, okay. Great. To begin with... Here, you can lay it down flat, and then it won't glare. Okay, there you go. got to get oriented here. Yeah. Okay, there is... This is West Hopsom Hill right here. That's O'Meara's barn. There's the community hall. That was built, I think, in 1953. So that kind of dates this probably around 1960 or something like that. That's the community hall. And the school is right here, which was rebuilt around 1950. I'm not sure exactly when it kind of burned or something. Okay. If, for reference, Eggleston is not quite in the photograph. It would be right here. Then that's the hollow down through there. That's... Okay, one of these buildings down... Was that Eggleston's? That's Eggleston's right there. You can just see it, I think. No, no it isn't. That's Beams. And that's where, actually, where I was... My parents were living when I was born. In that house right there. Danny Beams' old house. This is where uh, Williams's live. Pachotos, big long place here, Pachotos. And then, you know, you can see part of the store, I think, up here. The two big buildings at the top, the inn, and that stuff is up there. But anyway, I think this was done around 1960. It's pretty open there. Uh, but it's just a photograph, it's nothing really great, but it's a pretty rare photograph. I'm going to ask 45 bucks for it. I know I paid pretty good money for it when I bought it. So let's do this other one. This is a picture taken, I don't know when, but a picture of East Topsom. I don't have any way of dating it, except I figure it's probably close to 100 years old, I would think. This building right here, I was told by Edgar Downing that this was uh, Duncan Miller's house back in the day. And he says, you, he says, yeah, he says, see those boards laying on the roof right there? He says, we used to pull them boards off and we'd pull up with wood from the mill and throw it right in, take those boards and throw it right into the attic of that building right there. And that was the woodshed and that's how we loaded his wood in right there. So that would have been his buildings. This is the school building. It's on that road that comes out by the town, the town garage, which is... Let's see, is that the town garage? Yep, that's the town garage right there. And if you look, you can see a whole bunch of smoke coming up, coming up out of that blacksmith shop. It's right there. This is Miller's store, of course, the church. Bill Eastman's place is up in here somewhere. This is, uh, Gray, uh, Smith's, Mary Smith, but back there, I don't know who lived there back then, uh, and I don't know any of that stuff, but boy, that's a nice old photograph. And a nice frame, too. Nice frame, yeah, this is like 75 bucks. So, anyway, that's kind of what, that's what we're doing today. There's a, just a couple of nice pieces I've had for years and years, and Somebody's going to appreciate them, and I, I've appreciated them over the years, but I'm really not going to be able to take that stuff with me when I get ready to move. So 
I'd like it to stay in town anyway. So if you have any interest in it, get a hold of me. Thanks.